information is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem something or other. I am Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter. Back in this time zone, survived Nebraska with no professional wrestling this past weekend. Well, that's a lie. I did watch a little bit of NXT and stuff while I was uh, working on stuff in the evenings in my dorm room. But also with me is our friend in uh, the Beacon, New York. Yes. He is the only Mayhemmer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is mad. Mike. Oh, man, Sorgatron. We had two back-to-back shows that weren't all terrible. Yay! Huzzah. I, Yay! That's, that's the best we can hope for at this point. You know, uh, mediocrity is the best, is the spice of life right now, isn't it? Hey, you know what? Huh. If we took, if we followed my rule mm-hmm. and we just ignore every segment with people over 40 oh, in it. Oh, here we go again. Those were pretty damn entertaining. Shows. Were they? Were they? Yeah, they were actually. Um, well, the I, only thing, it, it, we, and I said AJ Styles is the one exception. So he did have a fantastic match with Ricochet. Had a lot going on. I, I now, all right. So, so a lot of stuff going on. Posting the latest from RWA Unleashed uh, tonight. Um, also had a client in uh, the first half hour of the show. Also, I had a visitor tonight, so we were talking while I was, I was watching the show, too. So it's still that, like, but I don't think Raw deserves your attention entirely, but there was a um, lot going on. You might have missed some stuff if you weren't paying attention. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there, were, there were some friends in the background. Some friends? Things. Some friends in the background of things? What friends? Uh, in the background of a shot where the Miz was getting ready for for his deal, there mm-hmm. was um, a little Abby the Witch. <gasps> no. Yep. And uh, when Kofi was getting ready for his deal, there was a little Mercy the Buzzard. We did not get a Firefly Funhouse tonight. We did not, no. Oh, interesting. Stork, they've made their way to our world. <gasps> oh, my. They're just going to sprinkle this over the next several weeks, you think? In- I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Because the pessimist in me says they don't know how to debut them yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the optimist yeah. in me says we're crossing over now now okay now wait a minute you were very unhappy with this idea of the good brothers in in aj styles and stuff there's some progress happening this week with that how how are you feeling about the former club uh reunion ish happening um if we're just getting aj versus the club mm-hmm. i don't know if i like or it aj and ricochet versus the club I still don't know if I like that, per se. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Interesting. At least they're like they're not the now. If the club looked for a new leader, (gasps) that might be something. And the new leader is Ricochet, or the new leader is Bray Wyatt. (gasps) Ooh. Oh. Because AJ is telling them not to have fun. Mm Hmm. You know where you can have fun, Sorg? The fun house. Yeah, all you, you have, have to do, the... let him in. Let him in. Just let him in. Do I have to do the arms? I got to pull the arms yeah. out? Okay, just, there you just go. Let him in. There you just go. let him in. Just let them in. <clears throat> let them in. Let the good brothers in. Let the good brothers in. Uh, <laughs> we were setting up a lot of extreme rules. We have... Oh, God. Uh... Extreme rules looks... Looks not great on paper. Looks not so extreme uh, at, at all. Did we set up a bull rope match officially tonight? Did that happen? Um, no, but Lord help us, we're probably gonna get there. <laughs> Wheel says, "Let me in, Mike." <laughs> um, so Sorg, are you excited for the intense game of Foursquare that Bobby oh, Lashley and Braun Strowman are gonna oh, have next man. week? I I so tuned in <laughs> for Monday Night Raw party games with Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chachio like this. They should have a crossover episode with his new favorite, Holy Moly. Holy Moly? What's Holy Moly? That, I haven't seen that's this. The com- 
That's the competitive mini golf show. No. Oh yeah, it's like it's like they combined Wipeout and mini golf. Is it as exciting as I found myself watching competitive poker because I was waiting for my plane and wanted to die? No, uh, probably not. But Sorg, you know what you should watch <laughs> whenever that strikes you again? Huh? You you need to find battle bots. <gasps> I miss BattleBots. I miss. But speaking, it's still on. Speaking it's of BattleBots, let's put a congratulations out to our friends, the Savage Gentleman. I got the name wrong, mm-hmm. and uh, and and Lady Frost, who got married over the weekend. Yes. I have a lot of footage to go through, and they were. Uh, it was officiated by one Mick Foley. Mm-hmm. So, uh, some good stuff there. I I, I heard. Uh, apparently, Katie and Missy had to have some good Mick Foley stories. <laughs> Um, and um, there was not a title change at that wedding. There was not a title change at this wedding that I'm aware of. I think some promos got cut. I we'll we'll see. Um, <laughs> would it be would it be weird if I released the wedding footage to the Indie Wrestling Network? I should ask them if they'll let me do that. <laughs> Sorg, you absolutely. Not only should you do that, you should have you should bring in, um, the Mister and Mrs. Gentleman. Mr. and Mrs. Gentleman. Yeah, she's well. She's still a lady. Well, I was I was gonna say Mr. and Mrs. Frost, but I yes. didn't want to offend the savage gentleman. Um, but you should bring them in to the mm. studio to record commentary over their wedding. Over their wedding. Oh, I like that idea. I like yes. that we should do a watch along. And uh, these are great ideas. These are great I'm, ideas. I'm an idea man by trade. So mm-hmm. Like. mm-hmm. I, I think, from what I understand, I think I think Dutters and Missy did shoot it. Since you know, given the experience, um, did they play the hard camp? Did they? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> well, they went around, and of course, there are many wrestlers here, including some people from Ring of Honor. Um, and and well, yeah, the that, camera that goes sense. around, and what are wrestlers going to do, even at a wedding, when they see a camera? They're going to cut a damn promo. Of course. I mean, this is why I I think I, I've been I've been asked again to do a wedding um a, a beyond this, and the only reason I was not at this wedding to to do this was because I was in Nebraska for a prior engagement that had nothing to do with wrestling, unfortunately. Um, and and I think I'm exclusively doing weddings for wrestlers because okay, they're fun, uh, in the way that you and I will appreciate. That's that's okay. what I, that's my favorite thing in pro wrestling this week is wrestler weddings, um, as in wrestlers that are. There, there have been there have been, there have been two of them this weekend. This weekend alone, so, I mean, actually three, wasn't there? Didn't uh, I, I saw the pictures this weekend of Nikki Cross? Oh, Nikki Cross, that's right. And um, help Killian me, Dane. Killian Dane. And again, the pictures. <clears throat> I presume they were recent, as in the weekend. So three. As far as I know, that one wasn't uh, filmed for WWE.com. No, that was. Paid, so. <laughs> well, one. As maybe, far as I well, know, one... you never know. Ray Rowe and and Sarah Logan, That's their right. wedding was filmed. You gotta give so... some lead time on these weddings. It's it's a lot. It's not as you can do it right away. Um, you know, as you can a wrestling show. So I mean, you gotta give some lead time for the editing. And there's a lot of post editing. And there's a lot of you know, booking the right music and everything. And and. I, I, Jeez, gotta um, add in the special effects. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yes, uh, Wheels and Tony, we do see you in the chat room. We just get off on a rant sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. We're, we're too busy talking about weddings and 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 such. Uh, so, uh, so, love and marriage, love and marriage, it goes together <laughs> like a horse and carriage. Oh wow, that's a very '90s reference. Mm-hmm. Um, but we do. This I tell you, brother, brother. <laughs> We do have a lot of you guys out here tonight. Thank you for joining us on this Monday night. I know it's so positive tonight, isn't it? Uh, Our friends Brandon Wheels, uh, Tony out there is a new face I'm seeing. Uh, and uh, and everybody else joining us out there. I see I see a lot of good uh, a lot of good numbers out there. So thank you for joining us on this Monday night, hanging out with us here or on your podcast uh, later on, perhaps. Um, but anyways, over the, on the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Facebook page. Uh, so. Um, I mean, it's not all positive. <laughs> just, just keep in mind, we did watch Raw. So oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, okay, okay. It's not all positive. But I think a lot of good stuff happened tonight, and a lot of bad stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's three hours. So you can't keep it up. Forever. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, well about... hey, speak for yourself, there, hey. Ombre. Hey. Hey. Yo. I'm just saying, Avengers was three hours, and it was. It was pretty good. <laughs> um, 
So what what else what else kind of piqued your interest from tonight, Mad Mike? That oh, you won't mind dude. watching three more times the for no reason. Tr- the fucking twenty four seven championship. Wait, wait, p- positive? No, no, no. I I want to see actual matches. No, that's not. What yes, this, that's not what the no, title's about. Because it's not they. It's the hardcore title without the hardcore. But you did have a match tonight. Yes, and that was good. And then they fucked it all up again. Yes, and we had, th- and then, and th- so our truth went from four s- title changes. Yes, and uh, sword, sword. When we look back in history and and say, hey, what was the first title of VC 3s WWE career? We're gonna say it was a two minute twenty four seven title. That counts for a lot of people with the hardcore title. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. It does, technically. Name, name one noteworthy hardcore champion that held it for less than 10 minutes. Okay, anybody less than 10 minutes was not noteworthy, but also... Exactly some my people, point. Some, exactly my point, Sorg. Some people You're... who held the Intercontinental title for six months, also not uh, uh, noteworthy. Sorry, hey, Curtis you know Axel. I, you know what? I'd rather have that. Mm-hmm. I'd rather have that. Well, what what you're gonna enjoy when Brock Lesnar uh, wins the twenty four seven championship? Fine, because he'd never show up on the show. The title would be the again. Why is everybody just hanging out on his farm? <laughs> now, see if Brock won it, and you had people sneak trying to sneak up on him at his farm, that'd be amazing. And he just swat him off like flies. He's uh-huh. running him over with his his giant John Deere lawnmower mowing that yard. And, and the whole segment ends with Drake Maverick being put into a giant bale of hay. Yes. Yes. See? I okay, now I do you not like what happened on Raw tonight or do you not like what happened in the last week not on Raw? Oh, well, King Maxwell got screwed. King Oh, oh, I didn't know about King first, Maxwell. First and foremost. Okay. King Maxwell was the ring bearer at Drake Maverick's <sighs> wedding. What? And if we did all of this and we didn't give King Maxwell a 24-7 championship reign, what the fuck was even the point? What are we even doing here? What are we even... Do- now, if he shows up on the honeymoon... Ah, they already, well, the greatest was when they showed the tweet last night of, I want a divorce from mm-hmm. yeah. his, his wife. That was pretty fantastic. Well, I mean, she she was a worker too. So. Also, the point out the one other thing to go along with this because a lot of this is very reminiscent of a certain twenty four seven title that happened on Instagram involving um, Chucky e. T, uh, mm-hmm. Chuck Taylor. Um, yeah. Bryce Remsburg reminded us that he also won a twenty four seven title at his wedding uh, so about you know six years ago or whenever that was. So just pointing that out there. Um, wow. Yep. Yep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just playing all the hits. Yeah, we're it. playing all the hits. Listen, listen. Um. Oh, I need to. Do we talk about the? Do we talk about the uh, Seth Rollins Osprey thing tonight or tomorrow? Oh, the, I feel that's a larger discussion. I feel we tomorrow. we do we should probably do that when there's like wrestlers on the show. We tomorrow, we right? should get we should also get Matt on the show and he and I can compare who has the better roster. Yeah, let's New do Japan. that too. Let's do that. New too. Japan or WWE. We do have a returning tomorrow is going to be uh, our friend Ronnie Starks and I do believe Dan Sandwich is also confirmed too. Ah. Now I have told him not to mention a certain something because that is a trigger warning for you Mad Mike. Oh yeah, no, I will quit the show. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, I will quit the show. Bada boom, <laughs> ending podcasts in the room. And so we are. I, so that notice has been put out there. Um, but uh, anyways, we'll have some fun with that. Uh, so so we'll we'll get to that tomorrow. Uh, I, I hope. Um, what do you think about uh, the Seth and Becky? real life relationship uh, becoming uh, a match at extreme rules i think I, I knew it was coming from the second i heard about it i from the from the second we saw them like glance at each other in the in the in the hallway even before that when when like posts yeah, were showing up on before, instagram even before that i i, I knew it was gonna happen mm-hmm. um 
I, I don't like that they called it hashtag Brolins. What? I don't like that. Yeah, that's what WWE put on their Twitter feed. Hashtag Brolins. When Brolins? hashtag Rollinch is right there. Rollinch. Rollinch. You know, we... or or if you want to be weird about it, Seth Key. Seth Key? Or Beth. Beth. But that doesn't work either. No, no. Beth Phoenix would be very confused <laughs> by that. Um, we need the we need that the, the hashtag these loud and proud, and uh, make them change. I mean, I'm happy for them. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've all seen what Seth's backing, so I mean, you know. Hey, I'm, Becky's doing okay with that. Um, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. And I, I did. I did like that Becky called herself the uh, Becky called Seth the man's man. That was great. <laughs> I didn't that, get to listen to that promo. I wanted that to catch was, some of that. That was oh, uh, Sork. Have you seen what Becky changed her profile picture on Twitter to? No, I. Oh, you should access it right now because I want to get your live reaction to this. Okay, well let's it. see. Uh, we're loading Twitter. Uh, mm-hmm. We're typing Twitter. dot com. Search. Uh, do do do. Come up there. WWE Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. No, the man. YouTube. Right YouTube. dot com slash pop. No, 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 no. That's to who. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Uh-huh. What is that? Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh, yeah. oh no! Oh yeah! Oh no! It is hashtag Raw Lynch. It is basically Seth Rollins with Becky's hair. It's it's the um it's the old Conan bit if they made it. Mm. It's the that old is... Conan O'Brien bit from the so NBC so days. baby Raw Lynch just has the beard like that's, yep. that. Yep, mm-hmm. seems full beard to me. Full um... beard and he's ginger. Wait, is her? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I love... She's got an email address, workratequeen316 at theratingsbro.com. Sounds about right. What I think we should email her. Who should win the best WWE moment, SB? And she's in the running there. Oh, I vote for Kofi, to be honest. Yeah, I think Kofi's more... I vote for Kofi. Like, if Becky was still Becky Two Belts, I mm-hmm. would have voted for Becky, mm-hmm. but... I wow, that's fantastic. given that given that she's only been fe- feuding with Bootstrap Barbie, I can't really get down with it. Bootstrap Barbie, yeah. Um, question mark because Riz was asking it on Twitter as well. Did Wait, you say Mark? No question. Question mark. Oh, question mark. Okay. Uh, Riz. Wait, that wasn't for the title. <clears throat> no, no, it wasn't for the title. Okay, okay. No, we need to. I don't no, know. It, I'm sure it, commentary it, said some stuff. It's blank pinned the blank champion, but it was just a really good match, so we don't Yay, bother too much. Just because. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Also a question from Bobby F. J. Town that was asked tonight. Why Undertaker? Oh. Are you are you okay? Are you okay? Can we just call him Sad Mark Callus? Oh, Sad Mark. It, okay. It was a good moment because I did not expect it. I don't know if there's some some foreshadowing and commentary or something. No, that I, no there wasn't. It just literally came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Like an for RKO, no reason. For no reason. For zero. They're reason. not like yard bros or it, something. It's it's like that meme, like nobody colon space, then Undertaker just shows up in the ring. <laughs> Like nobody asked for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here it is. I mean, that's a cool holy shit. If you're just like, I just got to see Undertaker with for yeah. Um, but you um, got me on um, shock. The value. Undertaker ver- the Undertaker versus Shane McMahon wasn't something I wanted to see three years ago. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not something I wanted. Once see again, now. playing the hits. Are they hits? Playing, playing it's the like, tr- it's playing like, it's the like middle Smash tracks. Mouth, it's like Smash Mouth playing something off their second album, Sorg. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Can you name a song off their second album? Uh, no. All Star was from the first. Yep. There was that one they did that sounded like All Star. Um, mm. but didn't they all? No. No. No, did any other ones get no. make it to the Shrek movie? Sorg, Sorg, it's it's like when you watch a match with The Rock, mm-hmm. and he wins with a Samoan drop. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, sure, you got the job done, but did you really try? <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> hmm. Okay. All right. So yeah. he's back. Um. Because Extreme Rules and sure, mm. Philly is gonna love that match. Oh no, way. we have Philly. Philly. We were doing AEW chants, and this is boring during the main event in Tacoma. Washington. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. That that crowd, uh, listening to that crowd chant, you could have told me that was half tarped off. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be. Uh, Philly is going to be brutal. Yeah, Philly is going to be. Philly is going to be brutal. Mm-hmm. Um. So it's gonna be like a team that hasn't won the Stanley Cup in sixty something years or oh, something. Oh, so like that. much angst, so much <laughs> angst, and a really weird looking mascot. Fourteen thousand days, Sork. You could Over be saying, days. You, you could be saying that they could get gritty. Oh God, we built this gritty on losing seasons. <laughs> gritty is what it looks like when you've been hoping for a, a Stanley Cup for way too long. No, Gritty's what it looks like when you've been watching Raw for 1,351 <laughs> episodes. Gritty's what it looks like when Mad Mike has watched every every uh, episode of Raw ever three yep. times. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's sad. It's sad Grit- sure. Gritty is a live shot of... Never mind, I can't do that one technically. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that one right now. Uh, um... Okay. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Gritty, gritty is what happens when uh, Mad Mike has to has to watch Total Divas for uh, specific details. <laughs> not inaccurate. <laughs> not, inaccurate. <laughs> not, a thing, not a thing that hasn't happened. Okay, okay. No. Too much inside baseball. Uh, anyways, okay. and and sorry, Philly. Um, just for existing. No, no. Do not apologize to the city of Philadelphia. They booed Santa Claus, Sorg. <laughs> they, <did. laughs> they deserve all of our hate. You booed, you booed Santa Claus. Fuck you, yeah. Philly. Yeah, exactly. The only thing good about Philly was Rocky, and he even he went to California. Hey, wow, wow. Didn't Creed so, too? So, yeah, Creed did Thanks too. So. Probably. Yeah. I mean, young Creed. I mean, well, probably old Creed uh, too. Yeah, probably. All the Creeds. <sighs> Yeah. With our arms wide open. What? No, no, that one too. Scott Stapp. He's, he's playing yeah, in Greensburg. They went, they went too. Yeah, he's coming to town. Well, not town, like a small town next to town. Oh God. Yeah. Why would you do that? I don't know. Shrek played there. <laughs> <laughs> the musical. <laughs> All right then. All right. You, what you, the you hell you is this show about? And, you should just go and say. Sing the song from the WWE video package. Yeah, is that one about the soldiers? Uh, no, My no. sacrifice. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I they got a lot of. They got a got a like. They could, I wish they would make a new one of those with all current wrestlers. Someone had to have done this on the. Somebody. Oh, yeah, oh, somebody's done that on YouTube. Everybody. <laughs> dude, there is a. Yeah. Will said, "Gritty is like Mike watching Impact." Oh yeah, no, that's Not that's exactly right. Not incorrect. Not wrong at all. Uh, God, what else is there to talk about, sir? Um, I mean, Ricochet. Hooray for Ricochet. Ra- hooray for Ricochet. Yes. Hip, hip, Ricochet. Mm, that needs an R uh, pass. Uh, so, all right. Oh, actually, I do have some. I, so, Sorg. There is a house show coming to Poughkeepsie. Okay. Okay. House show coming to Poughkeepsie. I want. I want you to go. Um. Well, hold on. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh. uh e who will not be named uh, is not going to be at that one. It's the house show is on a Monday. Mm, oh. Yeah. Wait. So, I, I. I like the the chance of experimentation here. Uh huh. Um. But WWE has canceled a lot of house shows on Monday. <sighs> Okay. Because of this wild card rule. Okay. Okay. Now I knew this house show was happening because you know I saw I saw I look at the, I look at the trades I read the sheets brother brother. Um, <laughs> Wait, do you get like a special sheet? Like, no, is I there? I just looked at the venue that we have here. Oh, I'm like, oh, there he's coming. 
<laughs> it's on it's on the damn damn scroll when I drove by. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um but I hadn't seen any ads for it on Raw. And it's you know, a couple weeks away. I'm like I'm getting nervous. I'm like, all right, maybe this thing isn't happening. Mm-hmm. But we got two ads for it tonight. Mm-hmm. Advertising two completely different cards. Oh, oh my! Yep. <laughs> like so, I'm very confused. Okay, like what are we talking about? Like wh- how right. different? So, so very different. So the first ad that came up said it was going to be Kofi Kingston mm-hmm. versus Dolph Ziggler. Mm-hmm. Which, okay, sure. Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns, which you uh, okay yeah and it advertised finn balor and randy orton okay okay and i'm like wow i really don't want to go to that show okay about an hour later mm-hmm. another ad came on for mm-hmm. Kipsy. like i'm like okay and i i almost zoned out for a second and i'm like kofi kingston versus kevin owens i'm like what <laughs> And then it said, um, for the first time ever, Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton. And I'm like, wait, I heard, I heard this phrase before. And then it also said, coming to Poughkeepsie, Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch. Whoa, wait. <laughs> wait. Yeah. So, I don't know what's going on. I think that one was supposed to air a couple weeks ago. Uh huh. Like before Money in the Bank. Uh huh. And it just did. But yeah. Um. And and, and more to the point, I still think that the house show is going to get canceled. <laughs> so I don't want to waste my money buying a ticket only to have it refunded. What's the date for the show? July fifteenth. July fifteenth. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm curious. It's, it's, the, it's the Monday. It's the night after Extreme Rules. Night after Extreme I'm Rules. Like, I'm like, there's no fucking way they're sending anyone to Poughkeepsie the night after Extreme Rules. Right. Oh, I'm a, I'm on no closest to all events. July. July. What you said? Fifteenth. July. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit! How are there three shows? There are three shows on the thirteenth. Yep. Wow. Like NXT, and then I presume this is Raw and SmackDown on the SummerSlam tour. Extreme Rules in Poughkeepsie, New York, according to their website. Let's see if they have anything listed. No, it's just like the pictures of everybody and included superstars. Yeah. Here's your officially included superstars. Bailey, Dolph, um, Drew McIntyre, Finn, Kevin Owens, Kofi, and Roman Reigns. Okay, I don't believe half those people. No, are no, 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 no. Nothing else is currently listed on there. The picture at the top is Bailey, Roman Reigns, and Kofi Kingston. Whoa, that'll be a great triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> if only. It'd be a great only. Threat. Um, yeah, you can imagine Bailey catching Roman Spear into a, a how, Bailey to Bella. How That'd far be away is Uniondale? Uh, it's in Long Island. Is Oh, uh, isn't it on Long Island? Sure. I, I was. And, uh, it's 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 the same thing. The picture of of Baron Corbin is still like old, um, vest Baron Corbin. By the way, I, I even Becky Lynch is still like steampunk Becky Lynch. Oh, sorry, that was his. That was his photo from when he won Employee of the Month. Oh, I see. I, at you know, Ruby Tuesdays. Let's see, he's ready to tackle me. But the one at the top is is current him. Okay, the the one for the Raw is Becky Lynch, Seth Rollins, and Baron Corbin. Yeah, that sounds more accurate. Okay. Also a triple triple threat you might want to see. Um, yeah, yeah, less, so. less so. yeah. Anyways, now that we've figured out what's coming on maybe in, in Poughkeepsie, I, I oh. kind of, I still want you to go. Sorg, I don't think there will be anything to go to. I if, if there is something to go to, if this is not canceled, will you go to it? Maybe. It depends on what kind of tickets are left. I would like to see. It, it can't be that expensive for tickets. Uh, yeah. You know, I would just, I mean, this. You, you, it's got to be, it's a smaller arena. You, you, you should be fine. I would like you to get the tickets for this. Okay. Go to the show. Uh-huh. And let me know if you had more fun than if you probably watched Raw that night. I guarantee I would have more fun. Yeah, well, there's that. 
and we'll compare notes. I, I, I can guarantee that because, A, it's live wrestling. Uh-huh. And, two, and it's not raw. We can two truths and a lie each other. <laughs> oh, that move. Oh, that that'd be interesting. On my Are show, in- did <laughs> <laughs> did the referee cover his nipples? What? What did that was um no that was a post match at a SmackDown taping here where at some point I think AJ Styles took the shirt off of the referee became the referee and the referee was was pulling a bunch of moves and and covering his nipples because he had no shirt on. Okay. It was hilarious. You had to have been there. All right. Is this referee Drax the Destroyer? No, 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 no. Instead of nipples? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Um, I'm very confused. Uh, Mike, we should probably go yeah. away. We should probably... We should probably... Uh, oh, there is one final important thing that happened on Raw, and I'm not sure if you picked up on it. Okay. Um, did you see the Iconic Sky commercial? No. Yes. Is it for Sonic? It's for Carfax. Carfax? Oh, yeah. my. <laughs> Tell me more. Um, it's just it's just Billy and Peyton rolling up to a car dealership, mm-hmm. and they're like, they have a whole list of iconic things they want in their car, and this young woman helps them, and they're going through all of the details. They're like, ooh, a convertible! Good, so we can do our hot moves. And then they start dancing in the car. And it's great. Fantastic. All right. Sorg, they're the, Sorg, they're the best. Oh, somebody find me that, please. Tina Keys is in way, the... Yes? Happy, happy belated birthday, Billy Kay. <laughs> yes, yes. She had a very... Hi, Kayla! She had a very inspirational post on Instagram the other day, so definitely yes. recommend reading that. So, Sorg, Thank you, Mad Mike. We, we need to start the show tomorrow with all of us saying our favorite Billy Kay quote. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Was well, definitely what are what, what did you go to journalism for that? Which I didn't realize she t- said twice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and then she accused Kayla of missing that class. Somebody called whoever. Did not think, did, I, I follow them on Instagram. Sorry. Alexa Bliss for her birthday mm-hmm. got Billy Kay a necklace that says "You got to be joking me." <laughs> Fantastic. There was this thread tonight where the the girls interviewing. Like there was like the one <laughs> the one asked AJ Styles, "Hey, how are you holding up?" Actually, I don't care. What do you think about your something tonight? And I'm just like, wait a minute. Wh- yep. Why did you ask the question? Well, um, and also <laughs> that an- one or the other one was in the ring, and somebody called her not Renee. Yeah. Oh, you haven't been following this thread. No. Okay. Uh, what you need to do before tomorrow, you have homework. Okay. You need to go to WWE.com. Uh huh. You need to find the exclusive video from after Stomping Grounds. Uh huh. Where Sarah Schreiber interviews Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Oh, well, they've been doing that, haven't they? He, no, but Kevin keeps calling her Renee. Yeah. And Sami's like, that's not Renee. And Kevin's like, I know who Renee is. I'm very good friends with Renee. <laughs> <laughs> and the best thing, Sorg, the best thing, I'm not going to tell you how or why. There is a special cameo from Sin Cara and Mickey James. <laughs> what? You know what? I was just thinking tonight because I was watching the or today I was watching the 365 about Alexa Bliss and mm-hmm. Mickey James was in a thing from from around Evolution, and I was like, "Where's Mickey James been?" She's injured. Oh, okay, okay. But, I didn't but know. Sorg, you need to watch this Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn interview. Have you been special tracking cameos? From Sin Cara and Mickey James. Have you been tracking the Dana Brooke uh, main event uh, blood fest? Yes. Angle. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. It was Dana and who? Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan. Okay. I thought they were going to follow that up on Raw. Like, I- I'm being serious about that. I yeah. thought they were going to follow it up on Raw. Uh, but apparently Dana's doing okay, which is good. Good. I mean, this is that, but they just they just played it up a little bit, right? Um, oh, yeah. They played it up a lot. It is. It, it is was, that thing. It, it is that thing that I talked to you about, you know, a long time ago, where it's like, oh, hey, you can't just watch Raw and enjoy it. You have to be a part of this massive tapestry that happens on all these platforms to, to have fun with it. Sorg, we say this all the time. You have to know the lore. 
you have to know the lore, right? You have to that's know the where, lore. That's the thing that we share. That's the thing that we like. And and mm-hmm. and there you go. You gotta know uh, the lore. What did you go to journalism for that? <laughs> Mad <laughs> you Mike. Fucking me. Mad Mike. Four eight eight three on the tweets. YouTube.com slash Hey Kyla. Hey Kyla. Uh, also not okay. Renee. Uh, you also need to find the one second video that's like three minutes long looped of Billy Kay just going, hey, Kayla, over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that mashup that they popped up today was like, fantastic. I almost want to turn it into my ringtone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, and, and I've had, as my ringtone, fans of the Midweek World remember this, as Welcome to Slamtown. <sighs> but seeing as I have not gone to Slamtown in a very long time, because he is in a terrible, terrible place. Hmm. Uh, I may have to see if I can change my ringtone to Hey Kayla. Oh, oh, oh. I, I feel bad for whoever is near you. Um, um, I, it, which also reminds me, I'm well overdue for a rewatch of Boone the Bounty Hunter. We got to end the show, man. Oh. Sorgatron on the on the social media. Uh, Ronnie Starks and, and Dan Sandwich will be keeping us safe on the Mayhem Show tomorrow. We will be having fun with that, and uh, we'll talk about a few other things, and I'll let you guys a lot of lot of stuff going on. Um, I would recommend that you make sure you follow all of our friends of Indie Wrestling US on on uh, Facebook, especially. I think there are going to be some surprises in the next month um, mm-hmm. for for some of them. Uh, so follow Fight Society. Follow Angel Gate Revenge Pro, uh, Rise with oh. a Y, uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling, and who am I forgetting? Who am I forgetting? RWA. Don't forget yeah. RWA. They just posted a new show today. Um, and uh, please subscribe to the network and support some indie wrestling and all of our friends out there, wherever they may be. And speaking of our friends, don't forget to watch NXT. This Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, that's right. Walking it, wild. Get crazy. Get wild. wild. Our friend of the show finally debuts. Fantastic. I hope the air horn is still intact. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Bah, 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 bah. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.